Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of proportional and non-proportional relationships, specifically how we can distinguish them on graphs, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So our proportional relationships are going to take this simple form y equals kx. So let's say our k, which is our constant of proportionality, let's just give that a pretty simple 2. So we're just going to double. We're going to double x, and it's going to become our y. So let's, let's just look at a few x and y coordinates here. So x, let's just say negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. We'll end up doing the same thing with the non-proportional as well. So if we put that 2 through our um, constant of proportionality of 2, we're just going to double it, right? So that's going to be negative 4. That's going to be negative 2. 0 doubled is still 0, and that's 2, and that's 4. So we're going to see a straight line as we graph this, but here's what I want you to notice. As we go through this, proportional relationships always go through the origin. That's that 0, 0. Try it. Put anything in this form, and you can change this k to anything. You could do negative 100. You can do a decimal, 0.38. You can do 5 eighths as your constant of proportionality. No matter what happens, if you have a proportional relationship, it's going to go through the origin. And so that's something that you, we can use just to visually see whether a, even if all of this were gone over here, we could still look at a graph and we could still see whether it's proportional or not simply because it goes through the origin. Now, what happens when we go through a non-proportional relationship? Well, it changes to this slope-intercept form. Our m is going to be 2. We're going to treat that as, as our constant. It's going to look very similar to our constant of proportionality, right? But here's the difference. We have a b that's a y-intercept. So we're going to take our basic y equals mx, which is you know identical to this y equals kx right here. We're going to tweak it a little bit with a y-intercept. So let's make that right, let's make that negative one. So if we wanted to kind of write it out a little bit, we would say y equals 2x minus 1. Whereas we have y equals 2x over here on the left that we've already graphed. And so, what does that look like if we plot out? Let's plot out those same x-coordinates. See what happens to our graph. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So if we were to plot this out, so negative 2 put over there would be like that negative 4, but then we have to minus 1, so that's going to be negative 5. So if we plot that, we're seeing we're already going to start in a new spot. Negative 1 going to be put up in here, that would be negative 2 minus that 1, so that's going to be negative 3. So negative 1, negative 3. Now, this is the big change right here. What happens when you have 0x? Well, over here in our proportional relationship, the y was 0 because there was nothing extra. But we've got this negative 1 over here, and that's going to shift it down to negative 1. If x becomes 0, y is negative 1. And that's the whole thing with this y-intercept, is when x is 0, where does it cross the y-axis? Remember, on your proportional relationships, it crosses through the origin, right? Through your 0, 0. But here, it's going to cross the y-axis on your 0, negative 1. And then if we put the rest of these in here, right, we're going to put, that's going to be 2, that's going to be 1. Right, and then we've got that's going to be four. That's going to be three. All right, and so you're still going to notice that we've got a straight line. You're still going to notice we've got the same rise over run, but look where it crosses the y-axis. So non-proportional relationships don't go through the origin. That's the main difference. And if you want to just visually see the difference, look to see, does that line go through the origin? If it does, it's proportional. If it doesn't, it's non-proportional.